All right, today I'm going to show you guys how to change your color settings for your printer. If you're finding that the colors coming out of your printer aren't slightly right, or that or they're different from what's showing on your screen, it could have something to do with the color calibration on your screen. But if you're not happy with the actual physical prints, I'm going to take you through exactly how to change the color settings on your DNP DS RX1 printer. Now, the process is a little bit different for both uh, if you're using Social Booth or if you're using DSLR Remote Pro, Social Booth is pretty easy. You can do it one of two ways um, via the de device and printers menu. We can pull up this printer here. So this is the one that we're using. Obviously, if we're using doing it this way, that should be set as a default printer with a green tick on it. Right click printing preferences and then under color adjustments we can change all of our settings here so generally people find that the prints are a little bit darker than they are on the screen so changing your brightness and your contrast levels will make a big difference to that and you can change all of these settings all at the same time just by dragging one of these sliders everything will change right across red green and blue if you're finding that you've got a color cast over your prints you can unclick the sync button and so you're getting a lot of green you can dial down the green a little bit as you can see that the example over here turns slightly more magenta when you do that once you're done though click apply you can save it as a profile so that you can call it up again later that way you can have multiple profiles for different events and then you click OK and you'll also find that if you open up Social Booth, if you jump into your Templates tab, uh, any old template will do under the Edit screen, you can actually set your printer preferences. So you can have a number of different profiles of different printer preferences, choose your printer, configure, and then you've got exactly the same menu. So you can change these settings. You can see that it's, it's scoped those uh, settings from the Windows printer default settings. So again, you can have different settings here. You can change them around. You can save the preset under a different name so that you can call it up again later. So Social Booth is quite easy. On DSLR Remote Pro, it is quite a bit different. So if we open that up, basically the process, you go to File, Photo Booth Settings, or you can do Advanced Settings. It's up to you. Uh, these buttons, by the way, aren't there in the older versions of the software, so you may have to go uh, File, Photo Booth Settings. I'll just do it this way, just to keep it uniform for everybody. Go to Load in your Profiles. Now, some of your profiles will be printing profiles. Some of your profiles will probably be just ones like these that, that show a disclaimer and don't actually do any photo taking or printing. So you need to know which ones are the printing profiles. For our members, it's any of the profiles that start with four or five. So let's take this first one here, the three photo green screen one. Open that up, click OK. Now we can do this one or two ways. With the new software, we can hit printer setup. With the older software, you want to go to File, Printer Setup. You can see our DSRX one's loaded. We click on Properties, and we've got that same interface again where we can change our color settings. Now you'll notice these settings are different because what DSLR Remote Pro does is it actually saves the printer settings as part of the profile. So if I wanted to, let's do something crazy so we know, put our brightness right at 100, click OK, OK. Then we need to go back to File, Photo Booth Settings, and then Save. It's going to ask us if we want to save our printer settings, which we do, and then save over that profile that we've just made. Yes, okay. Now, if you notice, we go File, Photo Booth Settings, Load our profile that we've just saved, okay, and okay. We've got a file printer setup. 
properties, color and adjustment, we can see that we've got this crazy setting that we've just made. If we go file, photo booth settings and load a different profile. So this next one that doesn't have green screen in the title. Okay. Printer setup, properties, color adjustment. It's got a different profile set. Uh, so all the printer settings are different again. So if we click OK, we can go and manually change all of those profiles printer settings. It's a bit of a task to do that because you have to load a profile, go to the printer setup and then change the settings and then save it. A nice quick little way of doing it, it's a little bit technical, but you can do it this way. Is you can open up your profiles folder. You can see all the profiles here. They're actually XML files. So if we right click edit, we can edit it with standard Windows WordPad or Notepad. You'll see that this has got all the raw settings for all the different settings within the program. If we scroll right to the bottom, you can see a set of tags here, printer dev mode, and also printer dev names. Printer dev name, uh, basically it's a setting for which printer is being used within that profile. Under printer dev mode, these are all the printer settings in a, in a code format. So if we highlight that really big, massive, long code, we copy it, close. We go and open this second profile here, edit. We scroll right to the bottom to this printer dev mode tag. Double click, it'll just highlight all of the, uh, the code text. Right click and paste. We've now copied those settings from one profile to the other. But first we need to save it. So now you'll notice, if we go back to DSLR Remote Pro, we go File, Photo Booth Settings, Load, this profile that we've just changed and go to printer setup properties color adjustments those settings that we've just copied from the first profile are now present in this profile as well so then you can use that process to copy your printer settings across all the color settings for your printer across all of your profiles so that's a handy little way of doing it and there you have it. You'll also notice that um, what a lot of people do with DSLR Remote Pro is that they change their printer settings in Windows. So the problem with doing that, obviously, is that those settings don't sh don't stick. So I could change as, as many settings here as I like. You'll notice that we, we change the brightness to 100. And these settings just won't be reflected in those DSLR Remote Pro profiles. So you actually need to load each profile, change the settings, and then save them because these settings are specific to profiles. That way you can have different profiles that maybe do different cuts or one has a glossy finish or one has a matte overlay finish, completely up to you. But it's important to know the difference between changing your printer settings just in Windows and actually changing them in the profiles.